Je m'appelle Marc Blum. And this is Channel 5 News. Earlier this month, Allied soldiers landed on the beaches of the Normandy coast in France. At approximately 6.30 am, 160,000 Allied soldiers charged the beaches in order to drive back Hitler's Western invasion. Led by American General Dwight Eisenhower, Allied troops took to the beaches against heavily fortified Nazi encampments. Using a combination of land personnel, naval transportation, and air raids, the Allies pushed through the strong Nazi defense. Out of sheer number, the Allies were able to push through and overcome the German machine gunners. The Allies incurred many casualties during the raid, but General Eisenhower says this was an important and necessary point in overcoming the Axis. During the past month, the Allied forces have been pushing through German defenses in order to retake our capital city, Paris. The successes have been integral to keeping morale high and momentum in the Allies' favor. The goal of the invasion is to reclaim many cities and drive the Nazis back to Germany. Now to Martel with the sports. Merci, Marc. Today, French soldier Jacques Paul set the world record for grenade throwing in the distance category. During some free time, the 21st Infantry of the French Army held a grenade throwing contest to keep the spirits high. Jacques Paul successfully threw a grenade three miles, landing and killing a Nazi the, near the French border. Here is a clip of the occurrence. Now back to you, Mark. Merci. Here is a letter from French peasant Camille wanting to know how she can help her country. Dear Channel 5 News, I would like to help the war effort. What can I do in order to ensure that the country is being provided with as much help as possible to defend our nation? Well, Camille, the government has provided rations, and as long as you stick to them, you are already doing your part to conserve resources for the nation. We also recommend that you supply the government with any unneeded materials that you have in order to help the war effort. If you have things such as guns or scrap metal, it will greatly help defend our glorious nation. It has been raining for the past seven days and the Germans have not bombed us yet. The rain has stopped. gentlemen and welcome to France on the bright side bringing you the latest news during the time of World War II. During these violent times of war our country of France is continually threatened by the Nazi powers. One of the major fears that have struck a chord with our people is the fear of nuclear attack. To our understanding Fallout shelters are a civil defense measure used in the United States during World War II to prevent from nuclear radiation. Local groups have brought the method of fallout shelters to the attention of our government, hoping that France can follow the example of the U.S. and also establish similar safety measures. When an explosion occurs, materials exposed to the bomb instantly vaporize, ultimately being exposed to neutrons, which is what causes them to be radioactive. That radioactive fallout, resembling clouds of sandy dust, will emit gamma rays within the first few hours and days following an attack. According to noted scientists, if these gamma rays particles are exposed to us after a bombing, it could lead to cancerous diseases, risking our lives. Luckily, with the help of bomb shelters, an easy build-it-yourself fallout shelter can be built in your very own backyard. 
Based on further research, scientists recommend building an expedient shelter in your backyard, which is essentially a trench covered by a sturdy roof under at least three feet of earth. Look at this gentleman. He's building a bomb shelter to protect his family and his friends in the likely case of a bombing attack. The bomb shelter has recommended and built-in qualities such as waterproof roof in case of rainstorm, concrete walls, sick enough to be safe from radiation, and proper ventilation for comfort. Go and be victorious at home and buy a bomb shelter for the safety of your family. We would like to sincerely thank you for tuning in to our newscast this evening. Thank you from Jackie Pierre and Mark Blunk. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Bonjour.